Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G, back at it again with a very important message today that everyone can learn from, including myself, as a matter of fact. I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. I've dealt with the public as a doc, as a business owner. I've dealt with staff, employees, coworkers, you name it. There is one common characteristic in people that have trouble in a work environment or just trouble in life, period. It's taking things personally. They take everything personally. Those kind of people will struggle in everything that they do. Okay. Couple stories here. So I had a patient not long ago that was very memorable. Walk in the room, greeted the patient just like normal. Hey, how you doing? And the very first thing he says to me, looks me square in the eyes and he goes, so how much are you going to rob me today? And I was just like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, I just met you, man. Uh, I'm not looking to rob you. I'm looking to help you, right? And things escalated from there. Boy, oh boy, can you take things personally like that, right? In a situation like that, it is very easy to take things personally. That one got my attention pretty well, but calmed myself down, and I was like, let's just take care of the exam and move on, because literally 10 minutes from now, I'll be in another exam room with somebody that didn't know that interaction happened, right? When you deal with the public, you are going to have to learn how to not take things personally. So it's not just work drama. It can happen in your personal life, in your marital issues, with your kids. <laughs> they can say a snarky comment to you, especially teenagers. I have to. Uh, it's not what they say. It's how they say it, right? Well, if you take things personally you're just gonna escalate the situation and make everything worse. I am guilty, guilty as charged, 100%. I'm not perfect, for sure. I just wanted to make this clear to everyone that it is a huge problem for a lot of people and many people struggle with this. I have family that literally took something personally and haven't spoken to family members in 10 years. One family member lives five miles away from my mother, had a disagreement about something, I don't even know what at this point, and they haven't spoken in 10 years. Both parties are probably guilty. All you have to do is drop the hatchet, let it go. Family is everything, family is everything. I don't want that to happen to you, but I'm probably resonating with many of you. I'm sure many of you have seen that. I've seen it multiple times in my life, not just with my mother. I saw it with my father-in-law too. He's holding a grudge. It's not, it's not healthy. And usually it's from taking things personally. Neighbors and friends, it applies. Same thing. So how do you do this? Okay. How do you not take things personally? Well, it's a state of mind. Are you secure in yourself? Do you feel good about yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? All of that stuff applies, but there's one thing that you can do to, to achieve Zen when it comes to uh, the public and just people around you. Understand it's not about you, okay? Understand that most likely the person that's offending you, it's about them. That one idea, that one concept will save you a lot of stress, anxiety, fighting. In some cases, financially, it might save you from getting sued. A lot of things. There's a lot of things in your life that, uh, that you can benefit from this one tact. Okay, understand it's about them, not you. Okay, emotional regulation is critical when it comes to this kind of stuff. 
take it easy. Teflon and titanium. I've said that before in my material. Okay, you've got Teflon coating. Nothing sticks to you. And you're made of titanium where nothing breaks you. Sometimes it takes you a lifetime to learn those skills. But if you take things personally, you are going to struggle in life. Marriages, relationships, family, work, all of the above, all of those things you will struggle with. So don't take things personally. All right. Especially if you deal with the public because you are going to deal with people that are ugly. They are, they are not nice. But if you don't let them dictate how you feel, you can be happy as, as all get out while they can be miserable. Okay, most people that are miserable want to make you miserable, right? Don't let them. Don't let them make you miserable. So there you have it. Nice little tidbit for y'all. I can't tell you how many times I've dealt with this in, as, a, as a business owner, as a doc, as somebody dealing with the public every single day. Every single day. Just don't take things personally, okay? It's about them, not you. So if you like this content, hit that subscribe button. It could really help me out. I appreciate it. Just got started. For all those that have already hit the subscribe button, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.